స్వాగతం మనలో చాలా మంది ఉల్లికాడల్ని వంటల్లో వినియోగించరు దీనికి బదులుగా ఉల్లిగడ్డలు టేస్టీగా ఉంటాయని వాటిని ఎంచుకుంటారు ఎలాగో ఉల్లిగడ్డలు వాడుతున్నాం కదా అని కాడలతో పనేంటని అనుకుంటారు కానీ నిజానికి ఉల్లిగడ్డల కంటే ఉల్లి కాడలే ఎక్కువ మేలు చేస్తాయి ఇప్పుడు డిజైనర్ ఈ కాన్సెప్ట్ చూద్దాం Hello everyone, uh, this is Neha Agrawal here from Neha Arts. Uh, today I am into handmade jewellery, so today I am uh, going to show you terracotta pendant. For terracotta pendant, uh, we need terracotta clay which is easily available in the market. This clay is refined from the river beds, sieved a number of times and then mixed with oil, water to give this shape of consistency. This is the terracotta clay which is easily available. I would uh, need certain molds. for here today we are doing a terracotta round pendant so i have a terracotta round cutter i have a roll pin i have a few wooden pieces which i am used to make a impressions tools impressing tools i am having a cutting plier and this is nichrome wire which is high tension wire used in terracotta jewelry making and these are all the tools which i used to make impressions so i'm going to start with taking a some amount of clay rolling it hard into the both the palms so that the consistency is like this and for the base of the terracotta i need plastic so that i can rotate the base while i am working for that i just need little bit of oil any oil will do any i need 2 3 drops of oil so just spread it on the surface put the clay i'm using a rolling pin to roll out rolling out should be neat they should be we we should not lift the clay again and again that's the reason we use a base so that we can rotate the base without lifting the clay it should be even the rolling of the clay should be even and if there are any air bubbles we just need to prick them out with the needle the base should be clean like this without ups and downs after this is done at least we need this much of thickness thickness should be at least 6 to 8 mm thickness i am taking a round cutter we can even use cookie cutters which are easily available in the market i am just oiling it thoroughly so that it's easy for me to cut the shape I'm just going to place the cutter on the clay and gently pressing it so that the shape is not spoiled. I'm going to just remove this excess part like this. Always keep the clay covered. This is my terracotta round shape of the pendant ready. i'm going to give impressions on this for impressions also i am using these cookie cutters which are available easily just mark the center press it deeply so that it doesn't cut but it gives a clear impression just i'm using the next size or again just press gently don't press deeply it might cut the entire pendant hold it with both hands and gently remove it this gives the second layer of the impression check out the circles the centers and just press very gently to give the impression see that you don't press deeply because it might cut the pendant gently remove it and see that the pendant is still flat i have given a third circle nichrome wire is used to insert and make loops into the pendants and the earrings so i am going to make a loop with the help of a cutting plier and i am cutting it I need two loops for the pendants. 
this is the way to make it without lifting the pendant please do not lift the pendant again and again it might spoil the shape I'm just inserting it into the center and one more will be on the other side one loop is here and the other is here I'm going to continue with the impressions now these are the impression making tools this is a semicircle tool go along the radius of the circle keep rotating your base you don't have to lift the pendant so this is the impressions that i have given it i have completed the, the second round now i would like to just take a pen and then i can give circular impressions sketch pens caps or any other paste which has a circular shape at home you can even use pen refills which are the refills which are over can be used so the circular impressions are done the third round of impressions for the center portion i am just leaving it plain i don't want any impressions on the center part now i will come to the making the balls and completing the pendant for making the balls we generally call them lollipops we have to take a clay a little amount of clay and then roll it to the size of a small ball this is the nichrome wire it's almost 1 cm in length and i'm inserting this wire into the ball to create this lollipop so here i have already made few lollipops and kept it's easier to work with the dried lollipops so i'm starting with one corner of the pendant i'm just inserting see that you insert line wise the base should be wet when you are attaching the extensions once the base is dried we cannot attach anything from this loop starting from this loop and have come till the other loop so now i can just gently lift it sure so here we have completed a terracotta pendant which is round in shape and we have all the lollipops around its circumference It takes 3 to 4 days for this pendant to completely dry and after it dries I have to fire it in a kiln at almost uh, which makes it black and uh, after uh, the firing I have to paint it with using acrylic colors and then assembling with uh, earrings and beads one of the pieces that I have made which is already painted after it is fired and dried after firing it will become black which is reduction process which we fire and i have used acrylic gold paint here and orange to paint it and the beads are done in a similar fashion that i have showed you how to make a lollipop also this is a square one which i have cut using a blade and i have attached the lollipops in a similar fashion and the beads are also done in the same way as i have showed the lollipops